Let's take a look at the third nine weeks big picture, just an outline of what they're going to be doing for these nine weeks. Uh, week one is a focus on irony. Um, it helps walk them through the different types of irony, gives them some examples to use. And of course, we know that there are multiple types, all three types of irony in Romeo and Juliet, and we'll want them to understand that irony as they're reading. Weeks two and part of three are focused truly on just getting kids familiar, getting our students familiar with William Shakespeare, uh, his language. They take a Shakespearean sonnet. They look at uh, Aristotelian tragic hero in the Elizabethan theater. Uh, they do a little scavenger hunt. They um, just prepare to read Romeo and Juliet using these activities. We're going to review those persuasive appeals just briefly with them and begin reading Act 1. They'll have an Act 1 dialectical journal, and then the Who's Phone is this project. Uh, this will really help them become very familiar with those characters, and it's fun for the students. They enjoy this activity. Uh, here is the first Analyzing Persuasive Techniques act, uh, activity that we do that's out of Act 1 uh, with Lady Capulet, Juliet, and the nurse. Um, so they'll continue. They'll read into Act 2. They'll start Act 3. Here's Activity 3 with... Um, I'm sorry, Activity 2 from Act 3 with Lady Capulet, Benvolio, and Montague. Um, they're going to work on creating thematic statements. Uh, the three levels of reading activity, this will take a, a solid period, maybe a little bit more. There's a multiple choice practice test from the balcony scene. Uh, this visualizing Romeo and Juliet looks at those balcony scenes from five different perspectives and has them analyzed that. Um, Sorry, my German Shepherd does not enjoy my lecture today. So week six, we're going to get into act three. We're still working our dialectical journals. We're still reading. We're still going through those persuasive technique lessons. Um, we read act four and act five. We work on our essay planning. And then we have some revision and editing strategies in there. We give them a couple of days to revise those after they've done some peer reviews and that type of thing. Um, analyzing a critical review, and whose phone is this project presentations. Notice that we do have a full week of flex days in here because we know that sometimes those Romeo and Juliet lessons will go a little bit faster than we anticipated or a little bit slower. And we also know that when students start presenting, that can take up a great deal of time. Uh, remember that we wanted to give you some time in those eighth and ninth weeks to grade those essays while the students are doing other things. Uh, this analyzing a critical review, they can do that on their own. Uh, the presentations, you'll have to be engaged in that enough to grade them, but for the most part, you'll have an idea of how well those are going, uh, and that, that will be enjoyable for the class, and we want you to have time to work on grading that essay.